Greetings everyone. This is an earthquake watch for November 8 through to November 11. Just a quick recap on previous earthquake activities. We did receive two 6.0 earthquakes back on November 3 and it appears that with recent solar activities and observations we could be receiving a 6.8 plus magnitude event. And I'm basing this on recent X-ray spike activity on the X-ray flux monitor. We can see two very large spikes here and it's fairly abnormal to have them so close together and fairly significant spikes also so I'm expecting a 6.8 plus magnitude event during the watch period we also are still seeing um, x-ray activity and we could be receiving a ramping up in x-ray activity during the next two or three days when the sunspot 11121 moves more earth facing and here is the latest image from spaceweather.com and we can see this is a pretty large feature and it is producing a fair amount of activity and we'll go into the moving SDO and have a quick look at it here there is a fairly sizable eruption above this also so we could be receiving a lot more x-ray spike activity once this active region and sunspot moves to around about this location now the recent x-ray activities that we have received are due to the sunspot 11120 that's above so that just gives us an indication of the powers uh, and forces involved with these uh, sunspots they are quite large now there is a prominent um, coronal hole feature on the sun on the solar corona and this is the main target of my watch right here and we'll get into the uh, data on this okay and we're looking at the solar monitor and this will give us a slightly better look at the, um, the coronal holes and there is another region also we need to target now this is the area of, of concern for me and the area of the watch would be north 28 degrees and this feature is more lateral which is going to give us a, a greater opportunity in finding the, the location of this event now I'm expecting this event to be landlocked in other words um, away from the ocean and more more land based and there is a feature above India around the Nepal region um, that fits this profile although the area has not been activated for about 30 odd years um, there is a strong possibility um, that I believe that we could be receiving a large event in this region just mainly due to the um, the mapping and matching of this so that'll be my main concern for the watch period and that'll be towards the end of the watch period. Now the second coronal hole which is slightly above seems to be about 37 degrees north and the best mapped area is in Europe which is the Mediterranean Sea and the most likely areas would be Crete or Greece um, for this event so there and this is adjacent to the sunspot 11120 so this will be or this could actually be the second x-ray spike that we're looking at so there could potentially be two or three events during this watch period and these are the main two areas that I've focused on uh, north 37 degrees and north 28 degrees now we'll get a, a closer look at the SDO and we are fairly limited with imagery they aren't as um, um, as normal as they should be unfortunately and we have to put up with um, some breaking up data and the area that I'm looking at right here is the north 28 degrees and we don't really get to see a clearer view of the coronal hole behind the sunspot here now there is another active region that's formed and is just beginning um, an active flux right here now we can see the active flux slightly clearer on the GOES-15 imagery and with the solar monitor we can also see a coronal hole associated with it so based on this active region and coronal hole it gives us a timeline of when events may occur this event could more than likely be slightly ahead of the large coronal hole and the larger uh, north 28 degree event that I'm perceiving and this is the area that I've mapped it's just below the Philippine region and I'll just get the solar monitor back up again we're looking at the coronal hole here I'm looking to find a feature on earth that matches this and it seems to be around about um, 12 degrees um, south, uh, north sorry and 12 to 13 degrees and there is a feature up around the Philippine plate 
which seems to match this. So I have a feeling that um, perhaps we may see a volcanic eruption of some kind in this region around Philippines and there are a few that do um, run across the line of this and the most dangerous will be the Tal volcano and this will probably be the most dangerous and there are about 14 volcanoes that surround this region so there may be an activation of a volcano um, in and around this region just based on the solar mapping and matching so that's worth considering also but my main area of concern would be the north 28 degrees at the end of the watch period which will probably be November 10 and 11 and that area would be above the Indian region which will probably be in Nepal or Bhutan. So that'll be my earthquake watch video. Thanks for watching.